కావాలనుకునే మీ కళని నిజం చేసుకోండి ఆర్థిక స్థితికి అనుకూల పద్ధతిలో మామ్ ఐవీఎఫ్ తో వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ డియర్ వ్యూయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐ డ్రీమ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ది బెస్ట్ ఒకేషన్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ బికాజ్ షి ఇస్ సచ్ అన్ ఎమినెంట్ యాక్ట్రెస్ ఆవిడ పేరు చెప్తే ఒక పవర్ఫుల్ అత్త గుర్తొస్తారు అలాగే ఆవిడ పేరు చెప్పగానే పవర్ స్టార్ పవన్ కళ్యాణ్ గుర్తొస్తారు వెరసి అత్తారింటికి దారేది సినిమాలో చాలా గ్రేట్ అత్తగా యాక్ట్ చేసిన మన నదియా గారు ఇప్పుడు మనతో పాటు స్టూడియోలో ఉన్నారు మోస్ట్ వెల్కమ్ మేడం ఇట్స్ రియలీ గ్రేట్ అకేషన్ మీరు అంటే ఇన్ జనరల్గా తెలుగు బాగానే మాట్లాడతారుగా మీరు కొంచెం కొంచెం బట్ విత్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ డిఫికల్టీ తెలుగులో మాట్లాడడానికి ఇష్టం యూనో బట్ రావట్లేదు ఐ థింక్ ఇట్ ఐ జస్ట్ నీడ్ మోర్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఐ థింక్ దాట్ ఈస్ మై రోజు మీరు ఒక అరగంట అయినా తెలుగు మాట్లాడుతుండాలి ఐ నో ఐ షుడ్ టేక్ ట్యూషన్స్ ఎస్ అట్లీస్ట్ యూ షుడ్ కీప్ ఆన్ తెలుగు ఫిల్మ్ యా ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సంథింగ్ ఐ విల్ ఇప్పుడు ఆఫ్టర్ అత్తారింటికి దారేది వాట్ వాజ్ యువర్ ట్రావెల్ ఇన్ తెలుగు ఫిల్మ్ ఇండస్ట్రీ హౌ డూ యూ లుక్ ఎట్ ఇట్ it was amazing i think um, even though mirchi was my first film that i did a comeback with which also people really accepted it really well but i think attar intiki daredi is the one that kind of um, um, brought nadia closer to telugu audiences masses masses classes and classes everybody everybody, everybody. you became uh, a household atta atta um, mm. i very well remember the first time director tri vikram actually came to me with the subject and um and when he narrated the script and gave me an idea of my character i said i don't know if i really want to do it i don't know because you know you might get stereotyped and i'll get the same kind of roles again and again um so he said believe me this atta will be different from any attas you've seen so far i said you're just saying all these things just to convince me and so that i can play the character and um but he was very patient he waited for me to be convinced to do the character yes and um and then when i said okay i'll do it because you know he was very keen i play that role um little did i know that you know this character would, would be take imprinted you in telugu cinema telugu as uh, so i'm extremely thankful to him and uh, and for him to have this foresight um as to how well i would fit this character yes. so i have to give it to him so it's my gratitude towards because why trivikram told you that uh, this makes a difference this yeah. uh, this atta is different completely right. because in all the re- films regretly we watch madurilla right but here you are a paternal aunt right in the film right so you are from the same family right same dna yes that to ignest power star pawan kalyan yes that made all the difference of course your elegance your majesty your grace in handling that character really multiplied the dimension of the film oh thank you to be very honest with thank you thank you because today after your longest career you don't need to be flattered at all <laughs> because you have enough credentials in your career yeah and you know your best of the movies in all the languages in fact right. tamil telugu yeah. kannada malayalam and all that yeah. you have kannada i haven't worked in kannada films um, but yes tamil malayalam and tamil thing. malayalam tamil malayalam but the curiosity lies there after atarinte ki daredi you are not too frequent on telugu screen Uh, was there any, any apparent reason for that no 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 nothing like uh, nothing at all because after that is when i did drishyam hmm. so just after attarintiki daredi i i was signed for drishyam and i did both the drishyams one and two and um, then i did uh, na peri surya i did do a few films it's just that i don't take on many films one after the other i like to give myself that break before i do another film it just i it's for me to kind of uh, just come back more energized uh, come back with a better perspective and for a woman it's always hard to kind of balance home and work so yes. i want to kind of you know uh, strike that balance uh, strike the balance yeah so as you, much as i can yeah as much as I, you can um, it uh, directly means that you give a lot of importance and pay attention to your personal life oh yes very much because um, 
um, that is where my, my heart is, honestly. And I think, uh, as I've always said, that um, cinema is my passion, but it's not my priority. So um, I always, I mean, even when I'm shooting, and if even if I finish a shoot by six o'clock, um, I run back home. I just like to be in you that space. You don't fly away anywhere. No, 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 no. I place. just rush back home, no matter whatever time the flight might be. Um, it's just, it's just my little cocoon, my home. You, your small home. Yeah, yeah. Small is, home. Yeah, it's it's my, not house. Yeah. It's a small home. It's a home. Yeah, it's, it's a, a home. home. But you know, after being so busy and engrossed in a career. Uh, that has left you pauseless for a uh, few decades. How could you handle that, uh, you know, life that has nothing to do with the cinema for a longer space? Oh, I think I absolutely enjoyed that phase of my life as well because um, I never take my stardom very seriously. Um, oh. uh, for me, this is all a big bonus in my life. Um, uh, what matters to me is all the small little um, blessings I see every day in my life. Um, um, the time I can spend with my family, my friends, uh, you know, without carrying the baggage of an, actor. of an actor. I can just sit and say what I want and not being judged by or, you know, anything of that sort. I just like that personal space. So, um, uh, as I said, you know, even my, uh, even my acting career, I've always looked at it as a nine to five job. It's a job. Okay. It's not about, you know, whether you're a star or this is what is required of you, this is what you, this is how you behave or anything. For me, it's not all about that. When I'm on the set, that's my job. You're and an actor. I'm an actor and that's what I have to do my best. After once and you are off the sets, that's are it. off the screen. The, yeah, then I'm not Nadia, then I'm Zarina, you know, Zarina. which is my original uh, name. And so even when I go back, people half the time get confused because some people don't know how to address me, whether they call you Nadia or they call you Zarina, Zarina. because... You know, my friends who are not from cinema, they all know me only as Zarina and then people in cinema know me only as Nadia. Nadia. So, um, but I'm leading this dual life. Yeah. You're, you're, a, you're a double role. In double role in, in life. In life. In life. In life. Normally, it is <clears> a very, for me, it is a very exciting moment uh, now because I have interviewed you uh, almost 35 years ago. I remember. In AVM Studios. I came to, you were uh, shooting some tele, Tamil film, right. uh, uh, AVM 8th floor. Right. I came there and I interviewed you and I went and I wrote it, in a, that's our Telugu magazine at the time, it was right. on the top, it was Jyoti Chitra. Uh -huh. the, next week I uh, the next week I brought it and gave it to you, but you do not know how, how to, to read, read Telugu. Telugu. Then I would I have read, made you read it, I would have asked you to read it. I read second. it, I read it and yeah. I explained it in English. Yeah. And you felt so happy for the, all the content and you, you. Uh, commented one thing, still I remember. Wow. Uh, you told me that I told you something and you have glorified and oh. glamorized and it put it in a right order without any confusion. Even sometimes I miss to tell you completely, you have filled the gap and completed it. Uh, for a readers. I interest. agree. I agree. I'm sure I must have said it because simply because you know sometimes you give interviews um, and especially when it's print. Um, uh, you know, on today even I mean with the power of editing, anything can be changed at any moment. But with print, what happens is like you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and sometimes the tone of the interview can completely change. Can be. And um, uh, it loses its essence and it gets focused on something else. So I think that's what. I must have noticed in your writing is that, you know, um, I must have said something which is probably I meant it from my heart, but I couldn't express it with words. And you probably I got, it. You got it. And then you you kind of uh, put it in words beautifully. So after, thank you. After that uh, incident, this is uh, the next time, second time I am coming. So the next will be after another 35 years. <laughs> it should not be. <laughs> and I wanted to know. Okay, you told that you know, once uh, you have left that film industry and you know, you went totally... I took a break, yeah, for took 15 a break years. And completely you're occupied with your family life and home, organizing the home and all that. Did you choose any other special occupation or uh, what do you call something, some navigation oh, yes. that kept left you, that kept you busy yes, and see, occupied? Yeah, I actually, I, you know, uh, I think most of them know that I went to America after we got married. My husband was working there. Uh, so the first three months just took me time to kind of understand how life in America is and, you know, and um, 
But then my husband thought that, you know, since I've been so busy, it would be nice for me to be a little occupied. So he considered whether you would like to do like kind of an associate degree, you know, a two year course, which you kind of make new friends and yet you learn something different. And actually I did that and I did that for two years. I worked very hard. Um, I made it to the Dean's list, as they say, which is like you graduate among the top five or whatever. Oh. And I don't think I've worked so hard in my entire school or college life. So uh, that was like a moment of pride because there were not many, uh, you know, brown uh, kids in school then and in college. I was among the very few. So I felt very proud that, you know, I could do so well. So those were the things which I did um, try to manage home and my studies and my husband would help me out also because everything had to be done on the computer and you had to print out your papers, which I'm not used to typing. So, Before. you know, after work, he would sit and, you know, I would like write it down and he would type it out for me or make a few changes or whatever. And um, so that was a big help, actually, big help. I made some friends um, in America and, um, uh, you know, locally Americans and just understanding their culture. It was it was a lot of learning and I absolutely enjoyed it. But another another interesting thing also, because you were such a top star hero in those days, right. in Tamil particularly, right. let alone other languages. Yeah, because Telugu, like, I think I did only two or, one, or two or three things. Yeah. Very negligible very, number, yeah, very yeah. negligible. But you were a sort of artist, a superstar in Tamil at the time. But normally when it comes to the point of marriages and you know, getting together, in cinema industry, normally happens between a superstar hero and a superstar heroine. It happens naturally yeah, yeah. in any given language, like Dharmendra Hemamal. Right, right. You can take such right. instances. But uh, such things never took place, occurred in your life? No, because I met my superstar husband before I came into films. So, so I knew my husband even before I... Uh, oh, you came into the film industry? Yes. So oh. I knew him even before I got into the industry. That's where you could skip the film industry and it's a superstar years. Yeah, yeah. There are, they are unfortunate people. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, coming back to one particular point, you know, see, in the film industry, you will be, uh, what do you call, you will be admired, you will be right. worshipped around with, by the people around you and audiences, wherever you go, your fan fair and people throngs around you. And once you get married and go away from here, you will miss all this. You don't have anything around you. And importantly, you will be 100% earning a lot of money on the top rank and uh, there will be a flow of money every time, every period, every stage. Sure. But all this will not be there in normal family life. How did you manage that? Minute? You know, I actually give a lot of credit to my parents. Okay. Um, I've had both working parents who have... Um, raised us, I think, with all the right grounding that one is required. So even when I, I became um, an actress and a popular one from the very first film, uh, my parents always said that this is not life. I mean, you know, there is more to this. More to this. So they always instilled that in us. And since I told you that I met my husband even before I got into film, so I knew at one fine day I'm going to get married to him and, you know, um, that is going to be my path and I'll do this for a while and just enjoy the... Yes, it's like as you said, it is 9 to 5 job. It's a 9 to 5 job and I took it as a hobby. I hobby. took it as a hobby and I, as I, as I mentioned earlier, I didn't let the stardom get to me because I think if I would have gotten the stardom get to me, I, life would have been very different. Um, I took it as a job. I, um, I worked hard at whatever, I mean, you know, um, I was offered. I worked with some very good directors, did some great films. Yes, I missed out on many too because I left this. I was there only for three years. Exactly. From 85 to 88 is very, I, small very years, short time, very, very short, short time. Period. I came like a hurricane and I just... You went, went away. Yeah. It is not hurricane, in fact, a tornado. Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I, I think... Uh, you know, there's a time for everything, is of what course. we believe. And I think that was the time I wanted to settle down. Um, and uh, I'm very happy I took that decision. Um, and then there were time to have kids. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad I could be with them for a long time as well. And then now when my kids are grown up, you know, now they're working. Now I have the time in my hands. You know, my husband also has found, you know, his passion of playing golf and work. So he's balancing that. So I said, why not? Once in a way, if I get some interesting... Film, but I miss home, so I cannot do back to too back. Much of work, too much of work. Too much of work. I I miss home very. Back to back films. Yeah, no, I cannot do. And I just think then it gets. Unless and until it excites you. 
Yes, but even if it excites me, I would rather take that break and do it rather than doing it back to back. Okay, even Jai Sudha, um, yeah, um, that uh, in her peak right. uh, prime career also, she used it to work for six days and she used to take three days gap, That's fabulous. spend at home and then come back to work after three days. Like that she is to Fabulous. maintain her career. Uh, that's what exactly, but you are... And I think what even helped me was not living in the city I'm working. So when I, I lived in Bombay, so when I would go back to Bombay, I have a very normal life. There is nobody and those days nobody would recognize a South actor, you yes, know. Yes, They don't know, not like today. Today I can almost say like I'm a national actor because thanks to all the Telugu cinemas which have been dubbed in Hindi, so, so they recognize me. Yes. So I, just the other day I was going to watch this film called Oppenheimer and uh, so there was this young girl who came up to me. She said, you know, ma'am, I know you. You, 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 you know, I watch your films, but I'm sorry, I don't know your name. So I said, doesn't matter. So she wanted a picture with me and then I, I mean, I enlightened her with my name and you know, so people do recognize me now, but I like the fact that I don't live in the city I'm working in. That it is just, not necessary now. It is not necessary. Necessary now. I never, never really lived like that. I mean, I, uh, we used to have a home in Chennai, but that was merely because when we were shooting in Chennai, and I would just go back, even if it's two days, I would go back to Bombay. Bo yes. So I've always, I've always used Bombay as my base, Mumbai as my base. Okay, after you rose to stardom, you rose to stardom in Tamil. Yes. Within that short span of time. Right. It was very miraculous, really. The success you got. Right. I still remember those days. Right. How people and how magazines spoke and wrote about to Nadia yeah. and how crazy, crazy it was. All that I remember by letter and spirit even today. Oh. Um, but uh, uh, they, I will try a question, madam. Yeah. Uh, do you think that you have missed something in the film career any time? No, no, not at no. all. No, like, you know, like imagining some characters or I could not do this kind of a character. No, no, no. I moved on. You know, I... Um, no, not at all because... Um, I, you know, that was one phase of my life. Then I moved on to the second phase of my life. And honestly, I never thought I would ever come back to cinema because, you know, we lived abroad. Um, the, you know, the practicality of me being able to travel, come here, work, go back. I thought that really wouldn't work. And, you know, those times people never travel back and forth so much. Uh, it's only when the Tamil film M. Kumaran Son of Mahalakshmi came my way was also... You know, I wasn't very sure if I can do it because my children were very young. And then my husband always said that, you know, I think people hadn't got to see you enough on the big screen and they still would like to see you. You should give it a shot and see. So I said, OK, just... So he encouraged you? He encouraged, definitely encouraged me. And I asked my parents as well whether that is the right thing to do. Uh, you know, he, because of his niceness, he was letting me do it. But, uh, you know, as a daughter, as a wife, um, as a mother, uh, would that be the right call? Will I be able to manage? You know, all these things come. I mean, with women, we always have our own challenges. Um, so during the children's holidays, I came and I did the film. And uh, I said, OK, if it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And the funny bit was they told me that, you know, this character dies by the interval. I said, fantastic. That means I don't have to give you so don't many have dates. You to work for the second day. <laughs> and um, that's how I did the film over a holiday. And then again, that film was another super duper hit. Then, um, then I would do like a film a year, you know, during my children's holidays. And it's only now that, you know, I have more time in my hands. And of course, as a woman, there's always this challenge of getting older and you don't have much roles written for women of exactly. your age. Exactly. So that's always an issue. I mean, but within that, I try to, you know, manage yourself. Manage. I try to pick roles which excite me, which is a good team. Um, I'm excited about being on the set every day with that particular character. So, you know, uh, I find the good things that's been offered. Normally, to me. now, in the, at least in Telugu, people are always expecting Nadia uh, to be cast in a film right. on par with the hero, like in Attarin Right. You know, which will certainly become a viable proposition on business front also. But uh, any such offers to you of it? No, nothing that I know. Nothing that I know of. Sometimes I hear of rumors that I'm doing a film with someone, but you know, it's sometimes just rumors, and I'm not doing it. So, um, no, nothing has come my way so far. And it's not about you know me being in par with my uh, you know uh, the know. male counterpart or anything of that sort. That is not for me. It's my character, 
and you know, I have my audiences, I have my fans, my well-wishers who come to watch Nadia and I don't want to disappoint them when they come to watch Nadia. Exactly. That is one of my most, most important things. Now, as you said just now, that uh, because of this, you know, globalization and the Telugu people touching the Bollywood in such a thunderous way of late, you know, all the people who were not popular at one time are being uh, yes. very easily identified and uh, you know, They're giving them so much opportunities, which I think is great because so many actors are getting work and so many actors, so many script writers are um, getting some fabulous, uh, you know, whether it's films or whether it's um, uh, the streaming platform, um, they all have, you know, their moment to shine, which I think is really, really good. Yes, yes. Now, is there any chance that they are doing in Bollywood films also? No, it is nothing as such. No, nothing that is, nothing really. Okay. South has always been very special to me and even when my uh, my younger days when I was offered Hindi, I really did do Hindi at that point because, you know, the kind of respect, the kind of work I was getting in the South. Comfort. I didn't, yeah, the comfort. People understood the kind of roles I did. People understood the kind of work I did, the kind of films. Um, I was not tempted to go to Bollywood. I was very happy. Of course. But I remember those times <clears throat> when, you know, I used to talk to people or, you know, people say that, oh, you work in films? Where, which films? So I said, no, I work mainly in the South. Oh, is it? And today it's completely different. different. If I say that working, you know, I'm working in the South and I'm doing a Telugu film or, you know, oh, really? With whom? Who? You know? It's completely changed. Completely changed, you know. So I'm glad I stuck, you know, here in the South and I was happy to contribute a lot to the South Indian cinema. Yes, you were that day also, our, this uh, LGM, uh, um, uh, that day, Sakshi, Sakshi ji also has yeah. come that day. You were telling, you yeah. especially you mentioned it, yeah. that you have really thanked all the South, uh, Southern languages, uh, where you are getting still, you know. And no, I'm extremely grateful because, you know, um, for a woman of my age, there are not many characters that's written for you. Even if there are, you know, there might be like once in a way something interesting that comes your way. But besides that, even for uh, an audience to have me so close to their heart after so many years, as you just mentioned that, you know, I haven't done a film in so many years or, you know, I've taken a long gap or whatever. But still, you know, still for the audiences um, to keep that place for me, I think it's huge. It's a bonus. I mean, Very it is huge. people's blessing, Uparwala's blessing. I don't know whose blessings it is. I yes. can only be thankful. And now that because, of course, whether you like it or not, you are still a popular star <laughs> all across <laughs> South. You, you know, uh, is there any such uh, possibility that you encourage your children into the film industry? No such? Um, not really. I don't think my children have really shown any interest. If mm. they show some interest, maybe, but otherwise, uh, I think um, they're both working girls and they, you know, they've studied abroad. And they kind of know the lifestyle abroad and um, um, they're happy doing what they're doing. So I don't think anyone has shown any interest so far. You so never far. know. Yeah, of course, of course. But after Attar in Tikidare, the end, after the few films that you have done in Telugu. Right. Uh, still, people are, you know, thinking about you and uh, they are contemplating casting you in the films, you know. Um, is there any, you know, do you regularly talk to anybody here as, as, as friendship goes? No, I don't regularly talk to anybody. Yes, I was very much uh, uh, in touch with like see the actors. So for example, if I see their work somewhere, then I would message them or I would call them, whether you know, um, whether it is Prabhas or whether it is director Trivikram or whether it is Kortala Shiva. The people I've worked with and people who I've, you. we worked with me, whether it's Charan, um, am I missing out someone? Yeah, so, you know, whether it's Bunny or who these people. So, it's not like I'm constantly in touch with of anybody. Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally. You okay. know, there could be like some film I've seen or some article I have read of theirs and I was really touched. So, I would like, you know, why not? I mean, I'll just shoot a message saying that it was so lovely to see you. Yes, or, you know, something yes, of that you know, because they respect you so much no, as a you. member of the family. They will never treat you, they never treat you in fact and they never treated you, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember as they treat you as their own member of the family. Yeah, so no the whole, respect, yeah the family has that been That respect doing. is no. there for you really. Yeah. And uh, have you seen Pushpa and uh, Ram Charan's uh, Triblar? Yeah, yeah, I've seen all these films. I mean they're very popular even uh, in Mumbai and everybody has been watching it and you know. Of course, uh, we've watched all the films, we're up to date with You've seen Adhpursh? 
Uh, no, I haven't seen Adi Purush. I okay. haven't seen Adi Purush. Um, but I, I really like Prabhas. He's a wonderful human being. But I haven't had a chance to see it. Okay. Pushpa, how did you enjoy Pushpa? Uh, Pushpa was fabulous, complete entertainer. And I think it was such a different role for Bunny. And he did such a great job. And the music was also a biggest... Uh, it, um, it was like the icing on the cake for that film. Uh, Sam was very good, even though it was just one song. But, you know, she did very well. Um, it's lovely to, lovely to see all these people. You know, Sam, I've worked with, um, um, you know, a couple of films. And I've, I've really enjoyed seeing her growth. And um, she's, she's really a very, very hardworking girl. Great. Before we conclude this session, uh, kindly tell us a tell few things about LGM. Because you're coming again, again onto the screen yeah. to excite the Telugu audience. How LGM, uh, LGM, of course, it's backed by Dhoni Entertainment, which is a very big name to be part of. Um, and it's a film which is a fun film film. I think people should go with their friends and with their family for this film because um, it's, um, it's funny, it's light-hearted um, and there'll be a lot of moments and situations where people can relate to. Um, it's, it's, a, it, it's a film about where a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law also uh, are shown in a different light. It's not like what you're used to seeing. Um, but I would say definitely go to the theatres and have a good laugh and leave the theatres. It's an entertainment. A Com entertainment. A complete. And a clean entertainment. Very nice, madam. And we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. I wish that you amass a lot of uh, name and fame again, like with uh, Attar in oh, the, the, this you. film also. Thank and we wish that you should continuously work in Telugu <laughs> films and be closer to us yeah, for I regular would. interviews. I would. I would love to. I would love to. Okay. All the very best. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This is what our special session with our special actress, uh, Nadia Ji. And watch and enjoy. Thank you very much.